1.37 a.m. You might think I'm out committing a murder. Could be right, but doing something completely different. We're gonna be hiking Mount Hood today. So here in the Y East Lodge, just filled out my uh, climber's permit for the day. You're gonna begin the hike from the overflow parking lot. For a full trail guide and more information about Mount Hood from the South Slopes route, you can check the link in the description below. So an early start is recommended for this one just because uh, this time of year, the snow is warming really quickly. So is the rock underneath it, which means both of them are falling down the mountain, apparently trying to kill you at all times. Uh, so the best bet is to start in the morning so that you're, you're completing your day while the sun is just starting to warm that mountain. It's record heat here in Oregon and Portland specifically and uh, yeah it doesn't really bode well but I'm gonna get after it anyway all right so this is where the hike starts and then you basically go up this dirt road this is uh, in the overflow lot so you come in basically right there and then you come in here obviously starting this hike in the dark. I'm not gonna be able to show you things I usually would on a trail guide in live time, but what I'm gonna do is pepper in B-roll. So to start off your hike here, you're at the base of the ski resort, and basically the first thing you wanna do is follow all the way up to the top of the Werner lift, which is the top lift here at Mount Hood Ski Resort. And then from there, the real hiking begins. But make sure when you're doing this to stay off of the groom trail because it is still an active ski resort, and that would suck to have your groomer ruined by hikers. So not much to report so far, been about a mile. Definitely steady uphill gain. It's kind of like the first time you're having sex right now. It's dark, kind of feeling around for where you're supposed to go. You're not really sure. That's kind of like this hike. I think I'm on the right trail. The GPS says I'm pretty much on the right trail. We'll see. Uh, the main thing is just to stay off the snow. Uh, until you get up above Palmer. Man, it's been a tough morning so far. Sunglasses on even though it's dark out because the wind is blowing directly into my eyes and this moon dust from the ground is just picking up and blinding me. So I want to make sure I can see later. So I got these stupid things on. They help with filming, which is nice. But uh, yeah, the trail is just garbage. On and off, really hard to find as well. So GPS, highly recommended knowing how to use it too but yeah it's just been a suffer fest I honestly can't wait to get on the snow this stinks pretty much at the top of the Palmer lift here I'll show you some b-roll shots during the day I'm sitting right behind a camp area so you could theoretically camp up here if you wanted to um, this is pretty much the only spot you can do that though logistically uh, yeah this wind is brutal I think if you're new to my channel show you reality in hiking so many people show you hood with a beautiful pyramid sunrise behind them and the awesome summit what they don't show you is reality which is this and just hours of grinding in the dark little to no views and the wind just constantly whipping at least for me today in my face uh, which is really really mentally tough so hoping it dies down a bit otherwise it's gonna be just a really long long day finally on the glacier here this is where you gotta really start being careful about your foot placement because there could be cracks or crevasses anywhere so you really really need to pay attention and be safe uh, in your route the mountains up there you can't see it at all maybe a b-roll will show it a little better here but uh, basically this is the start of the snow climbing Okay, once you get to the upper portion here, you basically want to split in between these two rock faces, kind of. Basically, your goal is to just end up kind of in this upper section up here. just starting to poke its head out and looking back down at the ski resort parking area it's right about there put it in perspective pretty smoky 
up here because of a fire or fires in the area. Still very pretty. Got the helmet on because I'm starting to get to areas where there's rock fall. I actually just heard rock fall over in the distance way out of the way here. But let's talk about gear for this hike. So you're going to want a helmet, obviously a backpack. You're going to want crampons and then boots that take crampons at least one mountain axe and then potentially if you want you'll be uh you could bring rope harness and protection as well it's typically not needed but if you go with a guide they'll probably bring it just because they go over safe but most snow climbers uh, if you're used to any kind of cool climbing you won't need it uh, if you don't know what boots that take crampons need you might want to educate yourself and maybe this isn't the best hike for you but essentially it's a hard sole boot you can check out my video where I talk about the difference between crampons, micro spikes, and the boots. Uh, I'll link in the description below. Check out everything I'm wearing. Uh, you can shop virtual Sherpa gear, and also all the gear I'm wearing, the link's in the description below in the video as well. Heavy, heavy sulfur uh, smell up here. It means you're getting close to the Devil's Kitchen and the southern winds are blowing right in your face. Not particularly enjoyable. So before anybody asks, this is being hiked in very late June during a heat wave. So this is kind of what you can, can expect, I guess, with June, July. But uh, yeah, I don't know if this is anomaly or not. The snow year out here was pretty average. You can tell it's a glacier because of the way that it is. Seriously, it's a, a blue snow that kind of gives it away. So badass. Okay, so this is called a triangle right here. You can go that way, but most people, 9.9 .9 out of 10 are gonna go right to gain the hogs back. And uh, yeah, there is another route this way, but again, the standard route is go right. closer look at the upper section of the mountain you can see climbers ascending old man chute uh, on the hogs back right here so I'll show you a closer look of the two main routes you can pretty much see that pearly gates is out there's a freaking huge crevasse that goes all the way across people going across that have balls I would not do that and uh, it looks even up further not in either so i'm going to take the safe route today which is old man shoot definitely not a seep i'll talk way more about it as we get closer looking down to the devil's kitchen it's a sulfur pit basically so you don't want to linger here too much so if you've never done a snow climb or a cool art before you probably want to have your crampons on by now honestly and uh, you want to practice kick stepping. So it's driving your toe into the snow to give you better leverage. It's going to uh, save your calves a lot of energy and also just give you much better grip when you're in the snow here. And ice. This is the hogs back here. So in the uh, earlier months, 
you could go up pearly gates which is a straight shot it brings you basically right to the summit but as you can see there's this big crevasse that forms here and crevasses are very very dangerous so you don't want to mess around with them so uh, once this is in I mean, theoretically, I guess if you really wanted to, you could, but even still, you can see up there is all rock. It's not climbable in a snow climb right now. So old man shoot is the way most people will go. Uh, it's the easier, it's about 30, 35 degrees, maybe a little bit steeper towards the top. I'll tell you once we're up there, uh, but yeah, you can see a well-established trail that goes and then up to the summit. Here's a closer look at that crevasse that guards uh, Pearly Gates. It's huge, I'll show you. That's a hiker, and then that's the size of it. So once it's out, you can't access Pearly Gates. And honestly, Pearly Gates, you can't really tell, but it turns into a rock mess. So it's not really an option anyway. Okay, looking up the base of the climb here. Super straightforward. You're going where everyone else is. Basically, exit out there. There are, also, are some alternatives, but again, this is not the time of year you want to be playing around with this potential ice fall here. Looking down, probably near the crux. The crux is like maybe 20 feet ahead. It's not super steep, but you can understand or get an idea of the perspective here. Uh, snow is borderline too nice. It's nice and soft, but it's gonna warm quickly. So definitely gonna be a short time on the summit. There's a little ice falling everywhere. So don't wanna be in the middle of that in a bit. So uh, yeah, almost topped out. I'll show you the crux as we uh, get over it. Gorgeous day. official summit here of uh, Mount Hood. You can see it right there. Pretty awesome. So just a little snow field to go and on the summit. Let's go. Whew, I don't want to fall here. Wow. 
It's gorgeous up here. Lots of smoke, but you can still see so much. I'll show you in a sec. What a freaking beautiful day. Oh. Wow. My first time on a summit in the Pacific Northwest. First time on the summit. Oh, that's not true. Only like third time on a summit of a volcano. And man, it feels good to be up here. This is crazy. So, yeah, you got some hazy views of uh, Wilson, of St. Helens, of, uh, a couple more volcanoes to the north. I'm not really sure. And yeah, looking north, you can't see much, but it's uh, gorgeous. So, just about five hours to the summit and 3.12 miles. I was moving very leisurely. I had a nasty morning with wind, which slowed me down a lot. But uh, yeah happy to be up here not going to linger too long because the sun is going to warm things up quickly and i do not want to be involved with that uh, but yeah summit of mount hood the tallest peak in oregon what a beautiful beautiful day so far so we got St. Helen. summoning any mountain it's getting down alive so that's what I'm gonna do now so before I wrap up the video I'm gonna make sure I get down to a safe spot uh, again you want to get down quickly because of warming of the Sun it is not your friend it doesn't matter if there's people sending rocks or not rocks are just gonna start falling ice as well and that is no bueno so it's lovely to be up here super pretty but my time on the summit is not going to be long today because i'd rather live to hike another day okay pretty much down from uh hopefully the rock fall danger zone here took off the crampon still have uh, a couple miles of hiking to go but i don't want to show you guys that it's gonna be boring so that's gonna wrap up my video trail guide here of mount hood via south slopes route if you're new to my channel, I do virtual trail guides of the state high points, Colorado 14ers, national park, so much more. So go ahead and hit that subscribe and then bell button. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining or at all helpful. I've had an awesome time on Hood today and I'll definitely be back for some more Northwest volcanoes. That is for sure. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next adventure.